who benefits the most with Garoppolo starting? I'm going to have to lean with Debo Samuel because now he can actually be used as a wide receiver. <laughs> Look, I mean, it, they're already – I feel like with Debo, they were trying to force him into something he wasn't, which is go, Debo, go 10, 15-plus yards deep, which, you know, I wanted to give him a chance. I thought he had a chance. I thought he could do that on occasions, but it felt like it was being forced upon repeatedly versus just letting it natural – and I know we didn't see it too much in the first two games, which, but I, I just, I'm just judging for what we saw in practice, which I heard from practice, and that's the way it kind of looked like it. Like they're trying to really put him into something he's not, because the, the, the handoffs were still going to be there and the quick screens, whatever. But at least now with Garoppolo, now it's like, okay, we still have that. But all right, D Debo, go run the slant, go run this shallow crosser, and then boom, he knows Jimmy can hit him. So I think it's going to be Debo that benefits most of all. Well, look, the way I, I was going to go with Debo, but the reason I hesitated on that is that his 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 carries are up big. Yeah. And like I don't think that's sustainable. They didn't start doing this until they were like they had to last year. They were 3 but and it's 5. It's because or, Lance can't throw shallow. Remember that we were saying that too about like hey, the, him in under 10 yards isn't necessarily his game true. yet. So But I, all, all I'm saying is like that. all I'm saying is like is Debo are they going to dial back the carries on Debo? Cuz if not, then this I, that's yeah. what I'm I, they got to stop running Debo between the tackles. Otherwise, yeah. what happened to what, not what happened to Lance, but something bad like that could happen. You know, so, probably will happen to Debo if you because running backs all get hurt on this team. And anyway, so um, <laughs> if they stop running him between tackles because Jimmy's back, then yeah, I'm with you on that. But I'm I, I think they almost have to, and they're gonna keep doing it. They did it last year when Jimmy was. They've done it with both quarterbacks. Because Kyle apparently doesn't trust either one to throw the ball. Because Kyle can't develop them to throw the ball. I don't know. Um, I'm going with George Kittle. I thought about I'm going that with George too. Kittle. I'll be going with I, too. I think uh, he's probably pretty excited um, that Jimmy's the quarterback again because Jimmy feeds him <laughs> the ball. He forces him the ball, right? Like, Jimmy doesn't throw. Like, this is probably bad for – well, I, I'm not going to say who it's bad for. We're going to talk about that next. It's obvious. But while it's bad for someone on offense, it's really good for George because George runs routes where Jimmy wants to throw the ball. Not just wants to throw the ball only throws the ball pretty much at this point. So this is great news for George. I think he was looking at, at maybe a down year as a, as a fantasy football guy. People are going to be upset that he was only getting two, three catches a game. Now he might be getting, who knows? I mean, he has weeks with Jimmy where he'll catch, he'll get 12, 13 targets. That's probably good for him. I can tell you nothing. right now, my cousin's pretty pissed off that George Kittle's on his fantasy team, but he kind of he kind of reached for him early. You know, I know you don't play fantasy, but we kind of go a little early. You know, same same concept. And then I still draft, I tried to but... tell people not to draft George Kittle. I mean, I was like, do you trust that? Hey, I'd I be telling him, I was like, you're a Niners fan. You you know Kittle as much as uh, as much as these media people. Why are you taking him? I digress. I, you know what? <laughs> Kittle was. I'm sorry to see these TikTok videos of fantasy football <laughs> people being like, George, what's up, man? I'm trying. Hey, words that yeah, three years in a row. <laughs> That's why no, I said I, what I said this offseason. <laughs> if it's a third year in a row, people are gonna notice, man. It's gonna be your reputation. Just a smidge, just a smidge. But no, yeah. I, I, I had, I was kind of, I was like this with Kittle too. But I, I wanted Debo strictly because of that, that, uh, the wide receiver usage. Um, that's probably is You're because right. why they weren't, I, you weren't seeing enough of it. I know you had eight targets in that first game, but I, I watched back that game. I bought like three or three of them felt like whiffs that were easy, like dump offs to him. Yeah. That like yeah. Lance just straight just shorted or over whatever he he, he right. messed up on that throw. And once and once Jimmy's in, all of a sudden it's screen 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 to Debo, yeah. right? Yeah, like you know so that's maybe a lot, they can that's replace those carries with screens. That's a good thing. I'm, yeah, that's a good point, man. That's a really good point. Yeah, so you know that's a lock for for that. So I, I just feel that that's now it's like okay now Debo will will take two carries away and we'll give you two more routes to run. Yeah, yeah. I, I, hey, a screen is always preferable to a run between the tackles. I think the Niners just learned that. Like, hey, you just <laughs> lost Trey Lance. A quarterback running. Don't lose your wide receiver running in between the tackles. But don't do that. Unless only reason you run Debo Samuel between the tackles is like it's the Super Bowl. Or it's like some must win game. Not week two. It was week two. It was the first quarter. I'm, we're not talking about that yet, though. I can't get over how and when Trey Lance went down. It was the first quarter of week two. Anyway. Anyway.